Hey everybody, welcome back. I have got, let's zoom out the right way, not zoom in. I have got an Astor Mickey, model HNQ, made from 1952 to 1956. And um, the case on this is absolutely immaculate. Oh, I don't know if you can see it there. Oh, nice. It is great. Um, yeah, we've got a couple of cracks on the dial there, unfortunately, and the uh, tuning knob uh, a little bit ratty, but it should be able to, the owner should be able to source another one, I'm pretty sure. Um, looks all complete. Nice backing board on it. Um, yeah, okay, we'll get that, that off. And uh, they've snipped the, uh, the uh, plug off it. That's not a problem. So, oh yeah, valve diagrams. 6ADB, 6BE6, um, 6AQ5, that'd be the output valve, and a good old 6X4 as the rectifier. All right, I'll get a screwdriver, we'll get that chassis out. Okay, all those screws and everything are out. Let's... Oh, okay, the speaker is stuck there. And I'm trying to see where the wires are. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, they're just down there. So, they've just been... <laughs> um, oh, there we go. They've got those little spring clips on them. Come on, off you get. And you're off too. Cool. Get that away. And here we are. Okay, mixer. I have amplifier 6V 6V6 instead of a AQ5 and 6X5 Apple transformer interesting there's been some work done to it um, yeah new red uh, wire there for the speaker that's cool all right let's have a look underneath sorry <laughs> just looking at things oh yeah So, apart from that white cap there, uh, full of waxies, that's all good. And, no, it's, I don't know, it looks, looks pretty much untouched. I'm only questioning that one cap there, but that's just a 0 0.047, big deal. Um, yeah, just a little bit of work done to it. A little bit of work done, output transformer, I'd say, may have been changed at some point. Uh, definitely has been changed. Um, there's one of the screws holding it in, one end, and down the bottom there, you can see it's just a, uh, um, what do you call them? Oh, gee, what a botched job. A uh, soft tapping screw to hold the output tranny in. Okay, well, we'll test all that up. I'll get some power to it, and um, we'll see what the sucker can do. All right, next step, I've hooked up the probes to pins three and five um, of the uh, rectifier. And let's see if the power track, oh, pardon me, let's see if the power transformer is working. Power on, and here we go. Looks pretty good. And while I'm at it, I'll just turn the power up again, and the dull globe's lighting up. So we've got our two main voltages, they're working well. All right, we'll tell you what, that's the old cap can in there, but, you know, I've been feeling somewhat brave lately, so let's monitor the main filter cap, which happens to be right there, the cap can, and I believe, yep, just goes, uh, negative body of it goes to earth. Pretty sure, let me just double check, make sure I don't, uh, do something wrong. Yeah, the uh, the body of the cap is uh, definitely earth. So, give, let's give it some power. Uh, take it up to 100, 100 volts. See if anything happens. Nothing yet. A uh, little bit of movement. Oh, here we go. I'm at... 180 volts, everything's looking good. Pretty 
bring it up to 200. Yeah, we're going to need a bit more voltage than that. And I have got the speakers plugged in. The speaker plugged in, yeah. Right, don't think any, I couldn't hear anything coming out of it. But, um, like I said, this is an awkward chassis. I, I can't m mount it <coughs> uh, vertically. Um, it just wants to fall over and there's nothing I can support it with. So I'm sort of stuck. Uh, okay, right. I thought I'd just recheck my uh, speaker connections and, uh, yeah, something wasn't quite right. So I've got it now. Um, as you can see, the blue and reds had been uh, on, had given us a replacement. Um, yeah, soldered, and I just took off the uh, insulation tape just to make sure that everything was okay. But um, all right, all right. Let's give it some power now that I know that the speaker definitely is working. There we go. Still not there. Uh, not happy with that voltage. Needs to be more than that, surely. Assuming all our valves working. Oh, I can hear some sort of crackling. Cool, so 6v6 is okay. And the rectifier is, and just going through the stations. Nah, not a whisper. Oh, heard a crackle. Nothing. Right. Uh, we'll check out some valves, I think. Um, definitely get it to work. Um, although, look, I might just change filter caps um, just to be on the safe side. And, ooh, actually, actually, bear with me, we'll test that other filter cap. Okay, I've got my multimeter attached to the um, terminals of the other filter cap. And let's give it some power. Just go straight to 200 volts. And let's hope that um, it's getting its voltage. Looks okay. Yep, that's good. All right. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to uh, change out that main cap and I'll, I'll do both. Okay, I've done the filter caps. There's the uh, secondary one, 16 microfarad, and the uh, the main cap that one that's sitting on the uh, power transformer. Uh, that's 24 microfarad. So they're all in. And let's power it up. Make sure that I've done it correctly. And here we go. Monitor some voltage. Oh, pardon me. Trying to do things and there's always something in the way. I was hoping it is it gonna kick in? Finally. Okay, bring it up to 200 volts. No, 150, yeah. Okay, it's all right. Still nothing. Just that scratchy sound from the volume pot. Oh, I know. Oh, where's that aerial guy? Oh! Hey! <laughs> Works! Sort of working. Oh, 
that's the low end of the band. It's a bit, bit iffy there. Now we've lost everything. Voltage is okay. Um, could be a dodgy, dodgy valve. Volume's up on full. And we've lost everything. Wow. That's strange. I wonder what's causing that. All right, power it off and I'm going to just look around for um, maybe something. No, not something. Well, something's failing. Maybe it got warm and then the signal went. But it could, again, it could be valve. I'm going to um, swap out the um, uh, mixer and um, we'll see if that makes any difference. Okay, before I swap it out, um, I noticed it was like way over here on, on an angle, a lot worse than that. So I'll just whack it back in, checking my uh, speaker connections, and let's just turn it on and see what we get. And my phone's going berserk. Alright, turn that off. No, it's not here. Just still monitoring the voltage, where are we there? Back again. I love that I grew up in a Muslim household. Take off the antenna. She's pretty dead. And I've been able to get on and support. We're just pushing with a message. And I lose it completely at the high end of the band. Uh, hold on, hold on. I think I see a problem. I'll get all this muck off. I don't know if you can see it, but where are we? Those wires there, speaker wires. And I get it to a point and it touches the, uh, the earth wire. So, okay. Shit job. Um... I'm going to have to fix that up. Might as well do it now. Oh, so I'm sold. I, I thought that was um, that, that wire there. Um, I thought it was connected, uh, an earth wire connected to the um, gang. But no, it was just hanging there, hanging in the breeze. And uh, pull that out. There we go. And we can get that Greek station done. All right, I will do something the about those wires there. The Time for an update. And I've changed um, five of the waxies. And this is what it sounds like. Get a station. July 1st. Now, another prediction I'll make that confirms your touch with the winner. Good old ABC. Caller of the week. It's like we might have them. Nice. I'm going to play you the... Oh yeah. Cool. And the on-off switch works too. <laughs> Great. All right. I'll um I'll finish recapping this, but you know, look, it's it's definitely a goer. Well, it's all done. All the capping's done. Um, only a couple of resistors needed to be changed. Um, I'm amazed. So the rest of them were all in spec. Um, and it looked quite a straightforward job. Um, also, remember at the beginning we uh, got signal and then it sort of just faded out and never really worked that out, unfortunately. However, I have an idea and I discount the... Um, Jumper cables come in off the speaker wire because it's either connected or it's not. Um, I think it was uh, this valve here. While I was changing and doing the old test, um, occasionally um, it would it would just squeal. You know, turn the volume up, squeal. Okay, and then it resolve itself. So I thought something's wrong. Last time it did it, I just grabbed that, gave it a bit of a, a twist, and and the signal came back. And all it was was a dirty socket. So I suspect. 
that dirty socket caused the uh, signal to just sort of fade out. That's my theory. But anyway, um, I'll get this back in the case and uh, we'll power it up uh, for the final test and uh, listen to it. And here it is, all back together again. So, it's all plugged in. I'll just turn the power on. And uh, a bit of dramatic effect. Let's see, let's see what, it, what the uh, dull face looks like when I turn it on. Yeah, not a real lot, but it looks better on the uh, screen than it does in real life. But anyway, one globe is all it's got, and that's all it can give, so fair enough. Oh, it's working. For a dad. And did he give you comments? Did he give you notes mm. once the songs were completed? Yeah, I mean, I would play him a song and he'd say... Cool. Double, one and four, eighteen dollars with a look at Bendigo the first at seven past two. There so early on. Nice. Did you always yeah. know? And there it is. Well, it's done. Nice little radio. Um yeah, just a new um tuning knob and yeah, it'd be nice to get another doll glass here because I mean it's it's cracked and I suspect um oh, by the way this tuning knob was broken, so whoever took it off, a bit too much pressure, bang it came out and snapped snap right along there but anyway thank you all for watching guys i will be back very soon and take care have fun bye